This is the Splatterball SRB400. This is the Splatterball SRB1200. Now the 400 and the 1200, those numbers indicate the capacity of the magazines. This magazine has a capacity of 400 gel balls. This magazine has a capacity of 1200 gel balls. So the Splatterball SRB1200 comes stock with this drum style magazine. What's interesting is that the magazines are cross compatible on both blasters. So you can remove this drum mag from the SRB1200 and use it on the SRB400, fits and works just fine. And then you can use a 400 round magazine on the SRB1200, that works fine too. You're gonna need a very long number one or number zero Phillips screwdriver to reach down to these holes. Let's take these screws out. Whoa, all the screws came out. Okay, the front lifts off easily here. Here you can see what I'm talking about where there's all this wasted space back here not being used for gel balls. And there's only this top portion up here. And this one has this spacer here. There's one part on top here. I'm just lifting it off like this. And then I'm gonna take off this bottom piece, slide it out under here, and boom! Now you have a 1200 round magazine, just like the SRB 1200. So now you don't need an SRB 1200 to have 1200 rounds. Just that space was an extra 400 rounds. Once you've got this magazine taken apart too, if you need to do any repairs, this front panel comes off of this drive gear, and this gear is what drives the gel balls up into the feed tube. The feed tube goes up here. So you could have some dried out gel balls stuck inside the feed tube. In that case, you need to remove this whole thing right here and carefully take out the feed tube, unwrap that wire. And here probably the best thing to do before going any further would just be to take a long brush and brush out any stuck gels in there. But you could go further by taking this apart here. There's a screw right here, you can remove. When you take this apart, the contacts are gonna come apart too. So there you go, you got the contacts on one side, feed tube on the other side. Be careful, this is the spring-loaded piece here. It doesn't come apart yet until you take this feed tube apart. So here I'm gonna hold the spring-loaded piece. And this whole feed tube can come apart. Be careful not to lose a spring. You can, you can gently pull the feed tube apart, it's just, just held together by friction. Oops. Well, gently is a key term. I broke off this piece here. So once you got this feed tube apart, you can clear out any debris that's in there. Like I said, I think it's easier to do it without having to take it apart. To put it back together, you're first going to put the latch into this side such that the angle part is facing up. Put the spring in here. Put the other side of the feed tube on top. Snap those two pieces together. Hopefully you didn't break any of these pins like I did. I can apply a little bit of super glue to glue that back together and hold it in place. Make sure the contacts are still in position. Red or positive is on the right, black or negative is on the left.
the wire is coming out of this little space at the bottom here. You don't want to pinch that wire. Now we're going to put this cover plate back on. That. These two pieces we're going to leave out because it's going to make it 1200 round magazine. Unless you want it to be, go back to an 800 round magazine, I don't see the reason for that. And then all that's left to do is put the cover back on and put the screws back in. So now you have an SRB 400 with a 1200 round magazine. How sweet is that? Check out my other videos to see some really cool mods of the Spider Ball SRB 400, 1200, the Gel Blaster Surge and other gel blasters. Things like tracer mods where you can have glow in the dark gel balls for nighttime play and how to upgrade the gearboxes to Metal Gear gearboxes and how to repair them. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned.